Get ready to learn about the most important exam that can change your entire future. You will be able to live a brighter life in an English speaking country. This is all about the IELTS exam. And in this video, I will cover an overview of the IELTS exam, what exactly to expect from the exam and who exactly needs to take the IELTS exam. So let's get right into this video. So what exactly is IELTS? IELTS stands for International English Language Testing System. And though, for those who don't know, you will be tested on four different skills in the IELTS exam. And these four skills are your reading skills, writing skills, listening skills, and speaking skills in English. So you need to make sure that you are able to prepare in these four different parts. And just remember that the IELTS exam will assess your ability to use English in these real life situations. So if you are able to pass these particular parts, you can get a high band and live a brighter future. So there are four main countries who require you to take the IELTS exam if you are planning to move there for academic purposes or professional purposes. And these countries are UK, US, Canada, New Zealand, and Australia. So you need to make sure that if you plan to move to these five English speaking countries, you will be required to take the IELTS exam and score a particular band in order to pass immigration requirements or academic requirements. So the whole point of taking the exam for these particular countries is they need to know your English proficiency skills in these particular parts. So your potential employer or your potential university needs to know how proficient you are in English because once you move to this country, you they want to ensure that you are able to meet the expectations expectations of the university program or the professional job. So you're probably wondering who exactly is the IELTS exam designed for? The IELTS exam is designed for non-native English speakers who, who studied in a different language or who lived in a country where English is not their first language. So whether you're a student or a professional, IELTS will definitely help you reach your goals and you get a realistic idea of real life situations of how English native speakers talk, which is great, or how exactly native English speakers would write a letter, maybe if you're taking the IELTS uh, uh, general exam. So whether you plan to move to an English speaking country uh, or you decide to take the exam for a different reason, passing this exam is definitely an advantage to you and an advantage on your resume. So I highly recommend that you understand what exactly is included in the exam before you decide to attempt to take it. So what exactly are the benefits of taking IELTS other than uh, passing and moving to the country of your dreams? The exact benefits are you are able to confidently show your English proficiency skills to your potential employer or to the potential university you are applying for. Uh, so depending on the reason you are taking the IELTS exam, this will definitely be a benefit to you. And if you are able to pass the exam, feel confident and perhaps you can even ask for a higher salary because your English proficiency skills are to par and you are able to meet the requirements of your job. And just remember that when you are taking the IELTS exam, you will be given feedback which you could take in order to improve your English. So, so maybe you have taken the IELTS exam in the past and you struggled with getting a particular band in, in a certain part. So you know that with your feedback you were given from the examiner, take that feedback and work on it. Work on improving so you are able to get a higher band score in your next attempt. So for those students who don't know, there are two different uh, IELTS exams, which is academic and general. So depending on why exactly you need to take the exam, you may have to take either 
either academic or general. So usually the IELTS uh, general exam is usually required for immigration purposes, such as Canada PR or living in Australia, the immigration will require it, New Zealand, UK, all of these countries do require the general exam for immigration and the academic exam is usually taken by professionals or or students who plan to study in one of these countries. So the academic exam will be required for students who plan to obtain a student visa, for example. It's very important that you do check the requirements of the program you are applying for, since this may vary depending on the requirements of the program or your professional career. So I highly recommend you double check the requirements before deciding to take either the academic or the general examination. And just remember between the general exam and the academic exam, there are some differences. So for example, in IELTS writing uh, task one, the general and the uh, the general exam and the academic exam, the, the writing task one is completely different. In the writing task one for the general exam, you will be required to write a letter. Meanwhile, in the academic exam, you will be required required to write a summary based on a particular graph or chart the question is asking for. And for example, in the IELTS reading section, you will be given uh, different passages for the academic in general. So these are just some differences that you may see between the academic and the general exam. So it's important that when you are studying for uh, the particular exam, you ensure that you are finding study material based on the exam you are taking. Make sure you stay tuned because this will be a series of nine videos where I will be going through the IELTS exam step by step what to expect from the general exam what to expect from the academic exam what to expect from the listening readings speaking and writing sections make sure you stay tuned and if you want to learn about IELTS preparation for beginners make sure you check out this video up above this video is for beginners and I go into lots of details of what exactly you should expect on your exam and guys if you like this video so far make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel so you are notified when i put out videos on this channel